Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another one in my series of me remaking some of my favorite fast food menu items. One of my favorite things to order from Taco John's is their grilled chicken burrito. But theirs comes out to be 18 smart points for one burrito, so that's a little bit high. So today I'm going to show you how I make my version of the Taco John's grilled chicken burrito for seven smart points on the WW Green plan. And this burrito that I make is just a little bit smaller than the one they make at Taco John's, but it is still definitely filling. So along with my chicken burrito, I'm also going to make some of my own potato lays with some Tostito salsa con queso to dip them in. So I will show you what I use to make them. So if you've never had a grilled chicken burrito from Taco John's, it basically is a tortilla with chicken in it and some potato lays and some cheese sauce. And so I'm gonna use these Olay tortillas. They are one smart point each. And I've found these at a lot of different stores like Fairway, Walmart, and I even have found them at Dollar General. And I'm also going to use a pound of boneless skinless chicken breasts. And as you can see, this is a little bit more than a pound. So I'm gonna just cut these up into chunks and weigh them out and make sure I only have one pound. And then I'm also gonna use some of this Tostito salsa con queso. And then to make the potato lays, I'm gonna use these Hy-Vee tater rounds. Orida also makes their own version of them. They're called crispy crowns, but I haven't been able to find them recently, so I've just been getting these. And then to season the potato lays, I'm gonna just use a little bit of Lowry seasoned salt. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and cook the potato rounds that I'm gonna use inside the grilled chicken burritos. And I'm gonna use two servings of these, so I'm gonna count out 22, and I'm gonna put them in my air fryer basket and cook them in the air fryer. And I'm also going to just lightly season them with a little bit of Lowry seasoned salt. Not too much, because I don't like it too salty. I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. We'll do 390 for about 10 minutes and see how that goes. And while those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my chicken breasts. I'm gonna just cut them into small chunks like this and then weigh them out and make sure I have one pound. Okay, so now I've got my chicken cut up into cubes. This is one pound exactly. And I also forgot to mention that this recipe makes four burritos. So I will make sure that I specify that below when I post the recipe in the description box. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have a skillet on my stove and I'm going to use this extra virgin olive oil spray. Um, you know, I honestly, it says zero calories and I honestly don't count it. I don't use very much. And so some people might wanna count it for points, but I don't personally do that. So I'm gonna just spray a little bit in my pan. Turn on my burner. And then I'm going to add all of the chicken. I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let the chicken cook. And the potato lays are done in the air fryer, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put those on a plate. And I'm gonna be adding those to the burritos, but I'm also going to make some potato lays for my family and I to eat with the burritos. And since one serving is 11 pieces, um, there are four of us, but I don't think my kids will eat a full serving. So I'm going to just cook 33 of these in the air fryer with some Lowry seasoning and that'll be our potato lays. So I'm gonna just count out 33 of them. So now I have 33 potato rounds in the air fryer basket. I'm gonna just sprinkle it with a little bit of Lowry's. And then I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. We'll turn it to 390 for about 12 minutes and see how that is. All right, looks like the chicken is done. So I'm going to drain it a little bit because it looks like there's a little bit of liquid in there. Okay, so now that the chicken is done, 
I'm going to start putting together the burritos and then I'm going to grill them in the skillet. So I'm going to spray the skillet with this olive oil spray again. And one other thing that I forgot is that in order to divide this up into four equal servings, I need to weigh all of this out. So I'm gonna set my bowl on the scale, set it to zero, put the chicken in. Well, it looks to be about, about 10 and a half ounces. So I'm gonna divide 10 and a half ounces into four equal servings, which is 2.62 ounces per serving. So that's how much chicken I'm gonna use for each burrito. took some Tostitos salsa con queso and put them in a bowl. And I heated this up in the microwave for about a minute just to make sure it is hot. And a serving size of this is 34 grams, which is also two tablespoons. So I'm gonna weigh out 34 grams on my scale. Change it to grams. Is she? Okay. And since I have 22 of these potato lays, to divide that up into four equal servings, it comes out to be about five and a half per serving. So I'm gonna do probably just about five for each burrito. So I'm gonna lay out my tortilla shell like this. I'm gonna put on my chicken. I'm gonna add five potato lays. And then I'm going to add my cheese sauce and then I'm going to fold that up so I have my burrito like this and I'm going to turn on my burner. There we go. And I'm going to set the burrito in the skillet just like that and let it brown on one side and then I'll flip it over and do the other side. I'm gonna put it together the rest of the burritos. Okay, so now that I've got it cooking on the one side, I'm gonna try to flip it over like that. The other one I'm going to let it cook on that side a little bit longer. Okay and this is what the finished product looks like. The grilled chicken burrito is grilled on both sides and then I've got 11 potato lays and I've got some of that tostado salsa con queso which I heated up in the microwave. So the burrito is seven smart points and the potato lays are five smart points and the cheese dip is one smart point for two tablespoons. Okay, so that is how I make my version of the Taco John's grilled chicken burrito and potato lace. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and hit subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you next time.